They were gonna flip this noob's Minecraft store into a super mega store, and this is literally it. They've, they're spamming in chat, they're getting players to teleport here, and it's literally three chests inside of a golden, wooden, and wool building. All right, so here's our noob, here's the store. Let's clear out the area underneath his base, and this will become his brand new mega mall, and I think he's gonna love it. It's gonna be so wholesome. Oh, okay, well, that's just a, what is this? Why does that exist? All right. All right, just cleared out the area underneath the base. Let's take a look at what blocks he's using. This is, oh, this must be his base. The worm hut. The worm hut. What? This dude is not gonna know what hit them. He's using oak. I think oak looks okay. Maybe we can make it a little more exotic though on this one. Not a lot of bases are made with jungle and I feel like that'll give him a little bit of uniqueness in here. All right, so we're gonna mark the center like this and give it a really cool jungle feel. And then we're gonna put the first shops right over here. So it's gonna be really simple at the beginning. We'll put them one there and then we'll put one right here. What the plan is, is to put a lot of water on the floor and then some jungle trap doors over top of it this is one of my all-time favorite designs because of how cool it looks. See, I feel like that looks very good. It adds just a weird level of depth. And then you can walk up and we're going to put a chest right here, which is where they can open up their store. So chest there, chest there. Then we'll put down a sign and we'll say your store here. real careful with these players above me while building it. So here's how the two stores look right now. I know it's very simple, but it's going to look super clean when we get it coming in. I'm trying to go for a very aesthetic vibe right now. And I want this to like be probably one of the best builds we've ever done. We're going to literally make this player's entire week and I'm super excited for it. So guys, let's get this waterfall in here coming in from that side, one coming in from that side. Now, again, we're going from a glass and dirt hut to something that looks like this. I'm trying to think jungle log. Maybe what we could do is take this out, take out some jungle leaves and maybe give it like a little bit of like jungle. I don't know. I'm thinking like jungle trees dripping off from the ceiling. It seems kind of weird. Hopefully they don't hear this, but I got a vision. It sounds good. Oh, it's like an upside down McDonald's logo. That's not what I meant to make. I think it, I think it looks kind of weird. I don't like that, to be honest with you. I think that's uh, uncomfortable. Now I like that. It's a W for dub. Okay. Mm. I'm still not, I'm still not, something about that isn't right. Okay, I'm thinking of jungle lights too as well. While we're building this, I'm like, we want it to look very aesthetic so that all the players come and this guy makes all kinds of money. But how do you make an aesthetic jungle light? There we go. That looks good. Okay, we could even use a trap door on the front of these bad boys. The light should still get through because of the, how these look, but it kind of looks a little bit better. And then up on the wall, guys, this is coming together. Okay, he's still a dude up there. I don't know if you can put bamboo in a pot, but we're about to try it. This will be the aesthetic wall over here. And we don't want it to just look like a normal, regular wall because to me, we, got, we already got a flat wall. So this is gonna be a little bit of a wild design here. It might change the way stores look forever. Now that is a kind of cool wall. I don't know about you guys, but that feels really special to me. What I want to do is like a little bit of an organic staircase, kind of as if it was just like a broken down jungle temple. And then boom, right in the center, the meat and potatoes. Oh my goodness. It's like an exposed wall that you've been digging into. Oh, that looks good. That looks very good. We gotta find a way to pull people's attention to the front of the room. First thing I'm thinking of, if I make these out of like, you know, something like that, those stand out a little bit better from the wall, but I need more, I need more to make these look better. And uh, what I'm thinking is we punch out the wall behind these guys, something like this, and then put them in the wall. Guys, this is looking good. Take a look, take a look. So I pushed it all back in the wall. That way there's like this like little bit, I don't know, art piece kind of outlining these characters. And then what I'm thinking we'll do is take a jungle staircase, put a jungle staircase there, a jungle staircase there. And now it's like perfectly framed when you come down. Like that looks so much better. Even better idea, hang the chest from a chain. Who does that? No one does that. So that makes it look even cooler. We're gonna put some more chest shops down now. And I want this zone to be very enticing for the future buyer to come in and get some buys. You know those love tunnels? I've never been in one, but I'm thinking we create like a love tunnel themed design where you go through like on a boat, perhaps on a boat, maybe by foot. And there's just chests all around you and it makes it like an experience. This is something probably Disney would do. I don't know. So I thought I was going to make it a love tunnel and put water in there. But I thought that might be kind of weird. So what I'm thinking now is somehow display the chests hanging from the ceiling again in a room like this. Perhaps one chest on each side and it could be... All right, that's not bad. It could be like a little bit of a hidden chest back here. Just a whole room for one single chest. And we'll make this like the super chest in some way, shape, or form. Well, something like that. Don't look too bad now, does it? So I wanted this to look like it was like some kind of a strong like monster holding up the ceiling over here. It kind of, I mean, it kind of does. Like you can kind of see that in there. Thing is, it's only one block big, so I don't know how to make an eyeball inside of that thing. So it's kind of like got the illusion it's holding up the wall a little bit. 
I still don't like this upside down McDonald's M we made back here. Like I thought it was a good idea. Now that we're kind of looking at it later on, it doesn't seem like it came together too well. And then we need to do this back wall and make this thing like super exotic and give it some really cool features. There sure are a lot of happy accidents today on this one, as old Bob Ross would say, but that front piece looks a little bit better. It, it does have a really good vibe to it. Like this, this person is gonna absolutely freak out when they see it. Back wall time, I want this to be like super in your face. And one of my ideas was we could make it like a giant waterfall, but I think that's gonna be like too expected. So let's actually push it back a little bit. If I push this wall back, then it makes everything else unsymmetrical, but that's okay. We can work with it because I actually think that might look really cool. So check this out. Big room for a big boy. Hey, you guys, you guys hear what I'm hearing? All right, big room for a big boy. That's what I'm thinking right now. So we're gonna take it in three. We're gonna make a big boy design here. These will be the big boy's feet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna come out spectacular. I don't know what we're making here. Some kind of a, I'm thinking like a, <laughs> this might look so, this might look absolutely terrible. I apologize in advance, but I'm thinking like a really just super large gargantuan monster here. Maybe he's too thick. No, no, I think he's good. Is he, is he too thick? Can he be too thick? I'm be, I'm be real honest with you guys. I don't know. I don't know what we, what we created here at this point. I'm getting a little bit nervous about what's about to come out of this. <laughs> it's not exactly what I had in mind. He's, he's getting the shape though, slowly. All right, that's pretty egg-like. Now we got to give him little tiny little arms. So these will be his arms that'll extend out like so. Wow, yeah, that's actually pretty tough to do. Obviously, he'll need a head. That looks good. It's like a mouth. Oh yeah, take a look at this. This will be how you sell the base right there. <laughs> look at that face. Oh my. These do not look like arms. I'll be honest. That was incorrect to place me those there. Perhaps here. No, here. Here. Where do arms go? So I'm thinking we'll put my head on a chain this man is holding. It's not too bad. So now he's holding my head in one hand. This hand, I don't know if it needs to really hold anything. Maybe I could like put some sort of a shield here to make it look like he's like protecting some kind of a castle. I don't know. Let's try a shield design. What should we call him, guys? Bertha? I think Bertha's a good name. Big Bertha. Big Bertha making an appearance back here. And then inside of Big Bertha, right in the center, will be another chess shop. Again, guys, gotta, gotta make money where you can. Tell me right now you look at this and you wouldn't be more inspired to buy from this than buy from what we saw at the beginning of the video right here. A glass dirt base. Now we got Big Bertha right here. I'm gonna fill the back end of this, though, because I think it's gonna look a lot better if you can't, like, see through the body. All right, Big Bertha's got a Tatanka back here in the back. I mean, that is a dump truck and a half, but take a look at that. So now they glow. They've got the redstone lamps behind them. <laughs> look at that. That is beautiful. He's got fangs coming out of his nostrils right there. Back wall, though, needs some detailing. Like, this looks pretty good here, but the fact that, like, the back wall is, like, all flat, no one's going to want to shop at a, a, anywhere that has, like, a boring back wall or even a boring ceiling. And so making that look better is always kind of challenging. But since we're in the jungle, um, I think we can try, like, some kind of a little bit of leaf play. Know what you're thinking. Zach, the leaves didn't work last time. Why would they work? You just wait, all right? They will. You just wait. They're going to come together. All about that confidence, all right? It's coming. This is really, this is really where, it, this is where it gets brought together right here. I mean, this is where, this is where uh, builds are made in the leaves. They say you can't get too aggressive with these. There's never a limit. You, you can never do too many. Can't believe I forgot this. I just spit on myself. Can't believe I forgot this the entire time. We don't even have any vines yet, though, on this build. The leaves look good. They actually do add a lot to it, to be honest. Uh, vines seem necessary. Like, you got a room like here that's kind of empty. You know, pop a, pop a couple vines down. You know, make a little something there. A little something there. A little something there. We'll get some depth in there soon. But this is a crazy upgrade so far. Still something on my lips. This wall. This wall needs improved. I don't like the wall. I don't like the way the wall looks. I don't like the way it looks at me. Nothing about this wall feels good. I love that the very first thing I placed literally were these trees. And I still, to this point, <laughs> I don't know if I like them or not. I don't think I do. Pretty sure I don't like them. But hey guys, this is what it looks like without night vision. And you can see the lights literally illuminate these chests and they just stand out like they're literally glowing chests even in here every single chest is glowing and that's what we want so maybe we take these out or maybe maybe we do something like this and just put down another shop right in front of it that way every time you see a light it's going to draw you towards the shops and we psychologically manipulate people to buying our items uh, that looks so much better bertha needs a little bit of water behind her don't you worry bertha we have forgot about you a little bit of an explosion up there that didn't sound good now will the path walk ruin this tell me path block yay or nay i'm gonna say i'm gonna say yeah that's a good play although i mean i hope our customers aren't getting confused in here it is always possible to happen and, and this is again crazy considering what we started with let's get the back of this wall finished up here you know my trick to making a super detailed wall wing it that's right guys we're gonna wing it it's kind of got like a pillar look to it doesn't it that kind of adds some depth i don't know how i did that but i like it so what i did was i went through and i tried to create like some sort of like a column in the wall to give it like more of like a i don't know just more depth or something just to look better so i put stairs upside down where it kind of looks like the wall has like these built-in columns i've never i've actually never seen a design like that before so i'm really happy with how it came out and i'm going to do maybe something here with fences and, and i don't know what but fences are pretty good details 
<laughs> that looks good. I thought it would look like a little mini drawbridge, but like you can see like the stone is like peeping in through the sides. So those little gates on the side, I can't explain to you why they look as good as they do, but they certainly do. Night vision on or off. That just, oh, this looks amazing. It just really looks amazing. If this player isn't absolutely blown away when they see this, I'm gonna be really disappointed because I feel like it's coming out so well right now. Like the amount of details in such a small space. The freaking Big Bertha back here. I mean, there's just a lot to like about it. A little detail. Oh, yes. Very good. I'm <laughs> just looking around at everything. I'm like, where else can I put details on this thing to bring it together? Like, this back wall. This room is not really what we want. You know, this doesn't look like a pro room. I think this one needs to have, like, a really dense jungle back here. Literally took me like 30 seconds and this thing looks like 50,000 times better. But I kind of made it look like this was like kind of beaten down a little bit. Some water in here would be cool. Yeah, it does look good. It does. You really can't go wrong when adding water to your build. So that looks absolutely beautiful. So we're going to pop down a couple barrels down here just for a little bit of storage. We're going to make like kind of a tight chamber through here. Like I don't want it to actually be super roomy. I, I don't know why. Just for some reason. Sometimes you just got to go with your gut. My gut says don't make it super roomy. What do you think? Jungle campsite in the back? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yes, it is. So we'll put the jungle campsite back here. We'll make it have like a lot of mossy design on the walls. This just, this just looks awesome. This looks like something you would find in like Skyrim. Like you'd walk into like a basement and you'd see something like this sitting there. The barrels really pull it together. We'll give them something very useful on this side. So we'll make this where a lot of the crafting things are so that they can come in and get things accomplished. Like if someone wants to come down to your store and they buy something, you don't want them to leave to go home because they need a crafting table. Them to use it here because then they're going to buy more of your stuff. I like how too there's like little peepholes. Like you can like see through the gap right there. Maybe though something here, this like kind of like bland wall is not really what I'm feeling right now. A little bit of spice, a little something. That really, that really did just pull it together didn't it now do we need light back here oh look how beautiful it is it just lights it up there's it's a little bit dark over here still looks really good though and the chests are literally glowing to call your attention to them I like how it's artistic when you go through and are like, oh, this thing got damaged. But like, if it actually got damaged in your life, you'd want to repair it. But here, I'm using damage as like an accessory, man. A couple lily pads maybe in the water might look good. Anvil is also a necessity. And we're going to pop the anvil, I think, maybe right over here on the wall. And then we're also going to give them a shulker box, which are worth like $300,000 on the server. How about like the back corner? Like have like a little bit of a hidden shulker box. Maybe people don't even know it's there. All right, so we've spent one hour upgrading this noob's base. Now we're gonna try to get the noob in here and reveal it to them and see what their thoughts are. This is what they literally had. Can you believe this? This guy is crazy. Oh my gosh, literally what a base. I can't believe something like this exists on the server. Oh, kitty, you're back, you're back. No way, hey, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, buddy, come here, buddy. All right, so here's the player. They're not even allowed to use Discord or don't have it on their computer for some reason. So I'm gonna show them their brand new base. So come on over here, my friend. Hopefully we get a good reaction and boing. <laughs> I think it looks really good. Honestly, for one hour of work, this thing came out great. This is amazing. I love it. Thank you so much. That's how we do it here, guys. We make people's days. Peace.